I love being out in the fields. I love being in the winery as well. It's very rewarding to see the fruit of your labor year after year and to constantly strive to achieve a better product. We come from a small farming community in Mexico. My father brought me here to St. Lena in 1979 as an eight-year-old boy. I went through the St. Lena school system. I became a U.S. citizen right after I graduated from high school and started a family with my lovely wife, Lydia, and have lived in the Valley ever since. Some of the challenges facing new immigrants in the Napa Valley are affordable housing, access to health care, and education as well. I think it does impact the community as a whole for the new immigrants not to be integrated into society properly. The more prepared citizens and members of the community we have, the better it's going to be for the valley and the economy as a whole. In 2007, we found a small property in Calistoga. We decided to drill a small cave and try and get a small winery up and running. And for the last couple of years, we've been actually producing wine out of that facility. And currently, we are farming about 60 acres of our own vineyards. We operate a small vineyard management company. We also run a small winery. We are currently producing about 3,000 cases of our own wine. By talking about immigration issues, whether legal or illegal, I think it's gonna engage everybody and overall help the valley, the community, and the wine industry. I would recommend that the community consider that these new immigrants coming into the valley, that they're an asset, first of all. They are productive members of the community. They pay their taxes, and they are vital to our industry here. It truly is the land of opportunity where the son of a migrant farm worker can grow up and own his own vineyards and have his own winery. It's a great place to be. Mm -hmm.